We just got some exciting news from OpenAI. They have now updated their API and function calls. So we are announcing updates, including more steerable API models, functioning calling capabilities, longer context, yes, and of course, lower prices. Yes, I'm very excited for this. So let's take a quick look here before we do some examples. So you can see here, today we are following up with some exciting updates. So updated and more steerable versions of GPT-4 and 3.5 Turbo. Yes, I like that. This is a big one, new 16k context window of GPT 3.5 Turbo. That is very interesting, so that's a 4 times increase in the context window. And I have an example lined up for you that we're gonna take a look at. 75% cost reduction of the uh, embeddings, I guess that's ADA002. 25% cost reductions for GPT 5 Turbo, okay, that's cool. And there are some uh, the reputation timeline for uh, 3.5 and GPT-4. Let's take a look at the models. So if we go down here, you can see we have a new GPT-4 32K version. I don't have access to that yet, but I am trying to get that as soon as possible because I really want to play around with that. The most exciting thing today is actually the GPT-3.5 Turbo 16K. That offers a four times contact length, like I just said, at twice the price. You can see now, it used to be 002 right in the GPT-4 Turbo API. If you take a look at the price here, you can see the GPT-3.5 Turbo's input token has been reduced by 25%. So you can use this model now for 0015 per 1k token inputs and 002 per output. So that is roughly 700 pages per dollar. That's quite cheap, right? And the 16k will be priced at uh, uh, 03 per 1k input and 4 per 1k token. So that's double the price, but we get four times the context window. And yeah, very excited for this. Uh, I think we're gonna take a look at an example of this. Just wanted to quickly show you in case you didn't know what this exactly means if we are gonna use this API. So we have the 4k chat GPT API here. We have the 16k here. And you can see this is outside the context window now. If we put in my YouTube channel, it's all about AI and we put in around 3,000 words here. And if we ask ChatGPT then, what is my YouTube channel name? Uh, I can't find any information about the YouTube channel. This is because uh, we can only fit 3,000 word or 4K tokens above this. Uh, and if we try to ask then, it can only read or remember these words. So this is gonna end up outside the context window, right? But if we have 16K here, so you can see, I put my my name my ch YouTube channel name is all about AI. I put uh, let's say eleven thousand words here, uh, and then I can ask what is my YouTube channel name? Uh, I said GPT four here, but ChatGPT then can really answer this and say your YouTube channel name is all about AI because it can read up to let's say twelve thousand words circa or ish, and yeah, that is basically how this works. And this is a big difference because now we can feed it a lot more window so i want to take you over to another example of this here you can see i just created a very simple chatbot so it's just a user and a chatbot so i can talk to this now so how are you right so this is basically a simple chatbot basically like chat gpt but you can see now i have used a different model here i have used the gpt 3.5 turbo 16k and we are going to test this limit now so what we are gonna do is, uh, I have this document here, I will quickly show you. So this document is about, you can see it's 26 pages around that. So if you go at the words here, it's 9,800 words. So what I've done here is, if I scroll down here, you can see I copied something from my website. What is the tree of thought prompt method, right? And I just copy this, paste it into the middle of those 20 pages. I copy this whole thing. I went back to the chatbot and I gave it like a system prompt and I fed all of this into the chatbot. So here is your knowledge base. So what is good about this is that now we can put in like 10,000 words here almost in the knowledge base and we can question the chatbot about this, right? So we're gonna give that a test now. So remember I put in that tree of word thing. So we are gonna ask it that question. So let's just copy this. What is the tree of thought prompt? And let's go back to the chatbot, ask that question. So hopefully it can find this now in the knowledge base. Yeah, so you can see here, the three of thought is an AI problem solving method used in prompt engineering. It wants a guiding model, such as chat GPT to evaluate and spin out. So there was no place 
for this to take this other than looking at uh, the knowledge base that we fed in here. So this opens up a whole lot of opportunities that we can use this for. So when we are like putting in 10,000 words here, that's quite a lot we can work with, right? So very exciting news. Uh, I can't really wait to play around more with this. Hopefully I can get a 32k version from GBT4 soon. Yeah, this was very good news. Very exciting. So I can't wait to play around more with this and try to build some more exciting stuff when it comes to this context window. So I'm going to be exploring that in the weeks to come. So hopefully I will see you then. Have a good day.